All right, hopefully you've got an opportunity to go through it and at least start to create the Magic 8-Ball class, if not finalized it. Now, I'm gonna take you through the solution that I've created in order to get to this class, Magic 8-Ball. Now, remember, this is just one approach. There's many different ways to do it, and what you experience may be different than what I experienced. Whatever it is, let's take a look. I'm gonna show you the first step of the solution, of my solution, and it's a really simple one. It's really just getting the class set up, kind of the bare bones. So my first step is I'm gonna be importing a couple of modules to give my Magic 8-Ball class some additional functionality. So I'm just gonna put a comment in here, I'll say import modules, and I'm gonna import three of them. I'm gonna import the random module. We know that that one gives us access to the ability or functionality to randomize some numbers. And this is gonna help us out with randomizing the response from our Magic 8-Ball responses. So I got my random, I'm gonna bring in the CSV, as well as the sys module. All right, so there's my imports. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is create the definition for my class, or really just give my class a name. Now once we've got that, that'll be the bare bones, kind of the beginning of our class. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one, we'll say class um, magic eight ball. All right, there's my class. Now, like I said, just kind of the beginnings, bare bones approach to creating my class. Got my modules, I've got the name. Now, we wanna be able to get in and start to give this class some functionality, right? What, what's it gonna do? What functions or methods are we gonna provide so our user can get access into this class and it can do its work? Now, before I get in there and start to implement some of the functionality, let's get this part done first. I've imported a couple of modules to give me some more functionality and I've started to create my class. So there's my first part of the solution. Next step, we'll start implementing the init class or the initialize, excuse me, the init method or function of my Magic 8-Ball class. So get this done first and then we'll jump into the next video.